This Star Raiders video will show you where the planets are now, now being the beginning of the year 2011, and where you can see them in the night sky. The Star Raiders Portable Solar System model helps explain why you can see them where you, can, where you do see them in the night sky. First thing that I must point out is that the Star Raiders Portable Solar System model is not to scale. If it were to scale, the Sun would have been the size of a pea in the middle here, and the Earth would have been the size of a full stop. So we have to go with a model that gives us a very good idea of how things are out there. The other thing that you must bear in mind is that in these videos, I'm looking at the solar system from the south. That is, this is the south pole of the sun. I am way above the south pole of the sun, and I'm looking down on the solar system. This is the south pole of the Earth. That is the Antarctic. When looking at everything from the south, all orbits are in a clockwise direction. There we indicate the direction of rotation is clockwise. If we were looking at the sky from the northern hemisphere, everything would be moving in an anti-clockwise direction. Right, let's start with the Earth. You would be here on the Earth somewhere between the South Pole and the Equator. The Equator is running around the Earth. You're somewhere between the two. At midday, you would be standing on the Earth, and if you looked straight up into the sky, you would see the Sun. You would have your western horizon, and you would have your eastern horizon. Of course, you won't be able to see anything in the sky, because this atmosphere is illuminated, it is blue, and so we cannot see what is up in the sky, unless you're very lucky, you might be able to see Venus. Right. As the day progresses, you will move around with the Earth, on your position on the Earth, and eventually towards the end of the day, the western horizon will move up over the sun, and the sun will set, and it will be dark. You will have a dark sky, and you will be able to look up in the sky and see what planets are visible. Remember, this is the beginning of the year 2011. If we look up above us, and a little bit more towards the western horizon, where the sun had set, we will see a very, very bright star. This is not a star, this is Jupiter. It is the biggest planet, and it is very visible in the sky at the moment. So, look straight up, and look a little bit further towards your west. The other planets that we can see, there are only another two, and they are not really naked eye planets either fairly close to Jupiter, but the only reason it's close to Jupiter is it's because it is in line with Jupiter, more or less. It is behind Jupiter, is Uranus. Further, closer to the western horizon, we have a look here, there's our western horizon, look a little bit up from the western horizon, would be Neptune. Neptune is also not a naked eye object. We cannot really see Mars at the moment. Look where Mars is. Mars is pretty well on the other side of the Sun. So we would be looking straight into the Sun to try and see it. And we would only be able to see it if it were a little bit above the Sun and we'd be able to see it then shortly, just after sunset. But now it is directly behind the Sun. What we cannot see in the evening sky are Venus and Mercury and Saturn. But wait, let's see what happens as the night progresses. As the Earth continues to turn, and you continue your journey, around about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the evening, Jupiter will set below the western horizon. At midnight, you look straight up into the sky. There are no planets visible at the moment from the southern hemisphere. As we continue our journey through the day, at around about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, what do we see rising? We see Saturn rising above the horizon. We can make this clearer by turning the model. And 
there we go. And here we have our morning horizon. And as we approach morning, we're going to see Saturn rising higher and higher and higher in the sky. It is not rising, of course, it is us that are turning. And just shortly before sunrise, Saturn will be fairly high up in the eastern, in the eastern sky. Note, as we approach morning, Venus also rose. Venus is a very bright star in the eastern sky at the moment. And then shortly before sunrise, if you're very lucky, we might be able to see Mercury. But remember that Mercury takes only 58 days to do one year around the Sun. That is, one orbit for Mercury is, and its year is 58 days. Right. Now you should have a good idea of where the planets are and also how the Starway's portable solar system model helps to explain why we can see planets rising where they do and where they appear in the sky. <laughs>